Hello and welcome to this Electrical Principles training video. In this video we're going to consider what the magnetic field surrounding a conductor looks like. We're going to hopefully come up with some memory aids to help us to remember uh, which direction those magnetic fields go in and how we can visualise those. So, let's get started. So first of all, we're going to consider this image here. So in this image we can see that what we've got is a conductor and the arrow pointing into it shows that there is current going through the conductor. Now you'll notice that we've got these lines wrapped around that conductor and that represents the shape of the magnetic field. So that's the first important thing to remember. When current passes through a conductor, and in this video we're particularly talking about DC current, the magnetic field appears around the conductor and it has a circular shape. Now if you compare this to the magnetic field that surrounded our bar magnets that we were talking about in a previous video, you'll notice that there's something missing. You'll notice that we don't have a north and a south pole on this magnetic field. Now it is possible to create a magnetic field using electricity through a conductor that looks like that, but in this case we've just got a circular magnetic field. So while we don't have a north and a south pole, what we do have, and this is a very, very important point, is the magnetic field does have a direction. So we're going to have a little bit of a think about what that looks like. So when we're thinking about the magnetic field surrounding a conductor, we want to be able to visualize, first of all, which way the current is flowing through that conductor. So let's have a look at our next image. So here you can see what we've got is a cross section of a conductor. So it's like we've cut the conductor and we're looking at the end of it, which is why it's circular in its shape. Now what we want to think about here is what direction is the current going in and how do we represent that? Well, we've got two options really. The current can either be going away from us, so in this case it would be going into the screen, or the current can be coming towards us, in which case the current would be coming out of the screen at you right now. If the current is flowing away from you, then we represent that by putting a cross into the middle of the conductor. So if you see a circle with a cross in it in your science and principles exam, that means you have a conductor where current is going away from you. The way to try and remember this is if you think about throwing a dart. If you throw a dart away from you, you can see the flight as it travels away. So you can see that cross as it goes away from you. So a cross looks like the flight of a dart when you throw it, the dart is going away from you. In this image, the current is going away from you. But what about if we want to represent the current coming towards us? Well, in that case, what we'd do is we would represent that in a way that looks like this. So now you can see we have a dot in the middle of the conductor. And again, if we go back to our dart analogy, if someone was to throw a dart towards you, you'd see the point of the dart coming towards you, wouldn't you? And here we see the point of that dart effectively coming towards you, therefore the current is flowing towards you out of the screen. So let's consider what our magnetic field looks like. We've already said that the magnetic field will be circular. It will look like this. So here we have the cross section of a conductor, We've got a cross, so the current is flowing away from you. It's flowing into the screen, away from you. And that generates this circular magnetic field around the conductor. Now that circular magnetic field has one very important quality. While it doesn't have a north and a south pole, the lines of magnetic flux still have a direction. And that direction, when current is flowing away from you, is clockwise. So when current is flowing away from you, it has this clockwise direction to the magnetic field. Again, to help us try and remember this, let's use an analogy. Let's turn the cross that is in the middle of that conductor into the head of a screw. So if you want to turn that screw so that it goes away from you into the wall, you would turn it clockwise. Therefore, when current is going away from you, it has a clockwise magnetic field. Now, if we want to think about what current looks like when it's coming towards you, remember, we represent that with a dot in the middle of the conductor, as we can see here. Once again, we have that circular magnetic field, as you can see on the screen, but this time, the magnetic field has changed its direction. So now, when the current is flowing towards you, so it's coming out of the screen at you, as represented by the dot, 
the magnetic field now has an anti-clockwise magnetic field. It's going in the opposite direction. So just in summary, if you want to visualize current flowing away from you in a conductor, you represent it with a cross. If you want to represent the current flowing towards you, you represent it with a dot. When current is flowing away from you, the circular magnetic field has a clockwise direction. And when the current is flowing towards you, the magnetic field has an anti-clockwise direction. These are really important points that we need to remember for our exams. And it's also going to help us to understand how conductors behave in a certain way. In the next video in this series, we're going to see what happens when these two conductors with current carrying uh, characteristics, as current flows through them, we're going to see how those conductors behave towards each other. Thank you very much for watching.